Hello everyone, I'm Vivian. For this time, I'll show you something new. That is interactive whiteboard software IQ Kids Memos V1.0. First of all, let's see how to install it. You can download the software from our IQ Board website. Find IQ Kids Memos V1.0. So this is the interface of IQ Kids Memos V1.0. Click Try for free to download the software. And we have already downloaded it to the desktop. Double click. And follow the tips step by step to install it. After successful installation, the icon of IQ Kids Memos V1.0 appears on the desktop. Then let's open it. There are 30 trial times for free in this software. You can use it for free if you buy our IQ Board Interactive Whiteboard or IQ Touch Interactive Web Panel, or you can buy the software license for using. Enter clause. So this is the home page of IQ Kids Memos V1.0. As you can see, this is the whiteboard. And you can write anything you want on this whiteboard, like IQ board. And its smooth experience makes you feel like as natural as you're writing on the paper. 20 point touch and writing also can be achieved on this software. It also supports hand gesture recognition, like full palm to erase. And one finger to select and drag. Two fingers to zoom in and out. Just like this. When you fill up the whole page, and there is no extra space for writing, you can click the wrong function and move the page. Find available place to keep writing. And if you want to move back to the things you wrote before, click wrong again and move back. There is a demonstration of wrong function. When teachers write or summarize key points in order and there is no enough space horizontally or vertically, they can assist the wrong function to move the page for writing. IQ Kids Memos V1.0 not only supports the inserted files from local storage and USB flash drive, but also from cloud platform like OneDrive, Dropbox. It allows pictures, audio and videos, office files like PowerPoint, PDF, Word inserted. Now let's check. We insert the picture from the desktop. The picture is inserted to the whiteboard. And then we insert the video from the mobile storage. And then click OneDrive. The files including PowerPoint, PDF, Word, 
video and picture from OneDrive cloud platform can be inserted to the whiteboard. We're gonna show some of them to you. First, we open the PowerPoint file. As you can see, the PowerPoint is inserted to the whiteboard. You can page up and down the slides. You even can see all the pages of PowerPoint file. Second, we insert a video from OneDrive. Click full screen for viewing. Third, we insert PDF file to the whiteboard. See all the pages from page management. You also can move the page. IQ Kiss Memo V1.0 also supports handwriting recognition. Click this button and write IQ board. As you can see, it can automatically recognize your handwriting. And you even can change the font size or color from handwriting setting. like font size and the color we choose the red one and we'll try it again okay that's it the shape also can be inserted we have two dimension shape and three dimension shape. And you even can set color transparency with and others. Then we choose a cube. Can use the fill function to give it the color. Each side can be filled with the different colors. Just like this. And then I'm gonna choose a triangle and fill it the pink color. Click more tools, you can see all tools of IQ Kids Memos V1.0. It is mainly divided into three kinds of tools. Paint tool, screen tool and other tools I'm gonna show you some of them first one is table then we draw the table set the color width and transparency or something else according to me you even can input the text insert the row and column if you don't want this table, you can click the button in upper right corner to delete. If you want to summarize the content or make your presentation more clear, you can use my map. Choose the style you like. And you even can add subordinate. Then, let's check Spotlight. You can see that only the content in circle can be seen, and the rest of whiteboard is covered. The size of the circle can be adjusted. You also can customize the toolbar.
choose the most commonly used tools and set it as default. You can see the change of the toolbar. IQ Kids Memos V1.0 supports different toolbars for different subjects. You can choose any subjects right here. Then we choose math. This is the toolbar for math subjects. Here is math function. You can move the curve freely. And even can set the curve like the color, width, and transparency. The label is also available for use. Then we choose chemistry. You can see in a different toolbar. Here is a periodic table of elements. Click one element. It will show the information about this element. And you can click more information. Choose one element. You can see all the information about this element. You also can change the phone size. And even adjust the content. Atomic figure is also supported. Like this, click it to set it. From here, you can see all the pages you presented and you can manage these pages. Let's check it. And you can add the new page from here. Even can delete it. Here is a lock. You can lock the panel. This panel will always show on the whiteboard. When you unlock it, it will disappear. Just like this. There are three modes for your presentation, preparing mode, teaching mode, and desktop mode. First, let's see the difference between preparing mode and teaching mode. As you can see, the teaching mode has full screen whiteboard, but preparing mode has taskbar at the bottom. You can do the other operations at the same time. Preparing mode is mainly used for teachers to prepare courseware on their PC. And teaching mode is for teachers' presentation during class on the big screen. And I'm gonna show you the desktop mode in details. Now we have entered desktop mode. You can operate as usual with a computer, and the toolbar will always show at the bottom. For example, open browser and visit a keyboard website. If you want to make some annotation while browsing the page, you can click pen to annotate. And click eraser when you want to clean the annotation. If you need to do a presentation by PowerPoint or other files, open it. And click arrow icon to page up and down. How to keep the annotation to always stay there? Click insert annotation, then this annotation is embedded in this slide.
and it cannot be cleaned while you delete all the annotation. Various tools supported to enhance your presentation, like highlights. Circle an area to show the content. The area you don't want to show will be covered. Click this button to hide the toolbar. An only IQ icon shows on the screen. Click IQ icon to pop up the toolbar. Screenshot also can be achieved and we have full screen capture, window capture, area capture, freehand capture, and you even can set the screenshot. Click it and the screenshot will be inserted to the whiteboard. You also can check it from the page management. Now let's see how desktop mode works on the large screen and open a video. Use the tools to operate as you want, just like this. IQ Kids Memos V1.0 works with our IQ Smart Pen. As you can see, it has four functional keys, and you even can see the functional page from about. So this is IQ Smart Pen functional page. Let's check how it works on IQ Kids Memos V1.0. Click key one to change the color. Teachers can distinguish the content by switching the color, and there are four colors supported, red, blue, green, and black. Long press key 1 to erase, and we erase the black line. Click key 2 and key 3 to page up and down. Now that's page up. and then click key 3 to page down. Click key 4 to screenshot the current page. And the screenshot is saved into the desktop. Then we change to the desktop mode. Check IQ Smart Pen file. And you can see the screenshot. Long press key 4 to use IQ Smart Pen as a laser pointer. And you can see there is a red dot. You can move it to emphasize the content. Or locating the content you are talking about. These are all the functions of IQ Smart Pen on IQ Kids Memos V1.0. So this is all for the video. If you like this video, please remember to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube. If you want to know more about IQ Kids Memos V1.0, please click the link in the description. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.